Today I'm going to be facing my biggest fear, which is oil painting. Oil painting has always been very intimidating to me, which is why I've never tried it before. I always come across videos explaining all the different tips and tricks for oil paints and like every time there's something new and different and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much to oil painting, I, I could never do this. As someone who's only worked with acrylic paints my whole life, it's just take the paint and, you know, put it against the canvas and it dries. And I feel like oil painting is like, there's just like a lot more things that you need to take into consideration. And so yeah, I've just kind of been like, I'll just stick to acrylic, like it's the same thing, but no, it's not the same thing. I feel like oil is actually very beneficial to use because of the texture, it's a lot more creamier and um, it doesn't dry as fast, which like of course acrylic can be so frustrating to work with because of how fast it dries. I've definitely had a few like mental breakdowns when something dried and I was like, no, that's not how I wanted it to look and like it just makes me want to pull my hair out but um, oil painting I think is very forgiving that you can just basically keep working on something and keep building up the layers so yeah that's why I've always wanted to do oil but I just felt like it was a big leap from acrylic and also like you can literally die from oil painting like the fumes are apparently very toxic and also the oil is self-igniting and it can start a fire in your house so yeah there's also like a few life-threatening things that stop me from wanting to use oils but um, besides that it's uh, it's a very beautiful medium to use so today I'm gonna conquer my fear and I'm done putting it off today is the day I'm gonna learn how to paint with oil paints but first I actually need to go to the craft store to buy some more supplies so let's go. So I just wanted to show you all the process behind how I get a reference image. I just compile all the images that I want together and it's actually really practical, especially with like harder designs. It's pretty insane like how creative you can get, but yeah, it's a technique I recommend. Okay, I'm gonna open my window because first I take this mirror down. I don't have an easel, so I have to use my desk. But I use my desk for literally everything. It's multi-purpose, so I don't necessarily need an easel, but it would be nice to have one. And there's light. All right, um, yeah. First thing I need to do is actually prep the canvas with some gesso, 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 gesso. I think it's gesso because I also pronounce gif like jif. 
I think that's just like the right way to pronounce it. I feel like if you say GIF, then you're just like boring, like so predictable, you know? Um, yeah, so this is some gesso that I'm gonna use to prep the canvas with. And then after that, I'm gonna tone it with the background color, which is like an orangey type of color. Okay, this part's easy. No stress yet. I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out. Mostly because, first of all, I've never done an oil painting and I'm already like assuming that I just know how to do it and that's going to turn out great. Um, failure is not an option for me. If I fail, I will um, probably go into like a deep depression for about a week and then I'll be fine, but like, you know, I would like to succeed at this as much as I can. I did watch a lot of like tips and tricks videos, um, but really I think like down to the core of it, it's just like doing it and learning as you go. Also, does anyone have any pillow recommendations? I know that's like a really weird question, I guess, but my mom like went into my room and saw my pillow and she was like, you sleep on this? And I was like, uh, yeah, like it's a pillow. Technically, I don't even really use my pillow. Like I sleep at the very, very edge of it, like the corner and I put my hands like this and I'm like, <sighs> So that's how I sleep. So I don't even really use a pillow, but maybe if I actually had like a nice pillow, then I would use it. I feel like I've never had just like a good pillow experience. Oh wait, you know what? I have experienced a good pillow before. It was this one time me and my sisters went to the beach and we were staying at this like little condo and the pillow was literally like the perfect pillow, like the perfect fluff. It wasn't too dense. It wasn't too, um, firm it wasn't too firm or like too soft where your like head like sinks through it i hate when that happens so it's it was just like a good balance like goldilocks type pillow i was really contemplating stealing it but my conscience was just like i can can't do that i can't steal a pillow they'd probably like find out and then charge us like a hundred dollars for stealing their property but uh, yeah, that was, like genuinely like that was my first time experiencing like a good pillow. I feel like I've been chasing that high ever since. Okay, so I have all the shades that I bought from Michaels, but I also have all the basic ones right here. It's actually really funny story the way that I got these. Okay, it's not like funny funny, but it's just like cool, I guess, a cool story. So I ordered a bunch of stuff off Michaels. I just needed like a bunch of clay and stuff. And then for some reason, Michaels sent me two packages of this like oil painting set from Winsor and Newton. And at first I was kind of mad. I was like, oh my God, they sent me the wrong thing. But then I realized that oil paints are expensive and this is a really good brand and they sent me two of them. At that point, I knew I wanted to try oil painting. So it, I guess it was just like the universe really wants me to oil paint. I ended up giving the second set to my sister, but uh, thank you, Michaels, for sending me two sets of oil paints. Thank you.
Okay, so I learned a lot when I first started this painting. I think what set me back the most was the actual paints not drying. Like, I knew they weren't going to dry, but it just felt so weird actually painting with them. I was like, are these paints broken or something? Because I just kept forgetting they were oil. And since I was so used to painting with acrylic, I also kept leaning my hand against the painting because that's what I'm used to doing. And so whenever I looked back at the painting, it would be like all smudged. And it was so frustrating, especially when I ar had already finished a section only to just smudge it everywhere because I kept thinking it would just dry but anyways the way I avoided that was by using a ruler and then resting my hand against it and it worked the same it just felt a little weird but I got used to it eventually it was also really interesting seeing how nice the paints blended together and at first I was worried about like mixing the colors together too much and that it could end up looking muddy but I found that it was actually super easy to create gradients and transition the colors into each other because acrylic you literally have to mix every transition shade together because it just dries so fast. So yeah it just took me a little time to get used to but overall I'm really glad that I tried it and now I know what it's like. No way. I don't know, I feel like I kind of have a love-hate relationship with painting. It's just like, I don't know, for some reason it makes me feel so lethargic, especially like just with how long the process takes and I don't know, maybe it's like the paint fumes getting to me, but it just makes me feel so like out of it and honestly it like demotivates me. Like I sort of had to force myself to want to finish this and even then I'm not even completely finishing it, I'm just finishing the bird but yeah I don't know why it's like I don't know how I'm supposed to feel for some reason it's like do other people when they paint do they feel happy the whole time because I feel like art is definitely more of like a reward based type of happiness like you don't feel really happy like painting it but once you finish it you're like oh I'm proud of myself like I painted this this is the reward that I reaped from all those hours of painting and I guess that's kind of where I struggle with art is like knowing that it's gonna take me forever to do something and I can't just like immediately get that like reward factor yeah I feel like that's something I've sort of noticed about myself is I've definitely had expectations out of myself when painting and I don't know I guess it's for me I feel like it is sort of just a painting thing like maybe I just genuinely don't like painting Finishing that thought, I think overall I do enjoy painting, but the process is something that comes with a lot of patience, and sometimes I think that's hard for me to find because honestly, I think social media and all those hours I spend scrolling have reduced my attention span to the size of a goldfish. Like thinking about it, social media is just like an instant hit of gratification every few seconds, and painting is just like maybe one or two you get throughout the whole process where you look up and you're like, oh wow, this looks actually good. But yeah, I could probably use a little more patience when it comes comes to my paintings. They're like, okay, my turn. Okay, stop looking. Stop 
Stay. Could I not stay?